Hi, in this video we've got a scale drawing of a rectangular field, A, B, C, D. Peter is searching for treasure buried in the field. He knows it is at least 4 metres from the point B. He knows that it is nearer to CB than it is to CD. And he also knows that it is less than 5 metres from AB. We're told a scale here that one centimetre represents one metre. And what we need to do is shade the region that the treasure could be found in. So I'm going to start with the first rule here, where it says at least four metres from the point B. So I'm going to grab my compasses. Because this is the locus of points from a point, from a single point, I know that um, I'm going to need my compass and I need to draw part of a circle for this. I'm going to open up my compasses 4 centimetres, which is there. I'm now going to place that at point B so that I can draw an arc. Okay, so I've got this point there. Now I'm going to draw an arc going from B. If that can keep up with me. There we go. Right, okay. So, move out of the way. So, I know that it needs to be at least 4 centimeters from B. So, it's going to be on this side of my, um, of my field. Okay. It also needs to be nearer to CB than to CD. So, I'm just going to change the color of my pen here. I'm going to draw some construction lines here. And... In order for me to get it nearer to CB than to CD, I need to bisect this angle here. So I'm going to do an angle bisector over here. So in order to do an angle bisector, I'm just going to put the tip of my compass there. I'm going to close this a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to draw an arc that goes around here. And then from there, from the intersection point, I'm going to draw another arc. Oops. It's going to come over here. And from that intersection point, the other intersection point, I'm going to draw a third arc. It's going to come over here. And I'm looking for the intersection point of those two arcs. Yes, yeah, so I drew a first arc here. And then from there, I did another arc here. And then from there, I've done another arc here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to connect those two points together. I'll do this in red. Okay, so that's going to look something like that. Let's see if I can get... Right, so let's just think about what we're saying here. We're saying it needs to be nearer to CB than to CD. So I've bisected this angle, and any point on this side of the angle is going to be closer to CB than it is to CD. So we're going to be on this side of the line, eventually. Okay, finally it says less than 5 metres from AB. There's my line AB, and what I'm going to do is on my ruler, Rotate that round. Okay. I'm going to measure five centimeters or five meters. That gives me a point there. I'll do the same thing at the other side. Give me a point there. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a line that connects those together from here to here. Okay, and what we're saying now is that, let me read that right, 
the same that it needs to be less than 5 meters from AB. So it needs to be this side because that's going to be less than 5 centimeters away from AB. This side here is going to be more than 5 centimeters away from AB. So now finally, um, we should be able to shade in the region that we want. So I'll do this in blue over here. We need to be on this side of our um, arc over here. Um, we need to be above this line and we need to be on this side of that line. So the area that we're going to shade in is going to be all of this area here. So what we're saying in the context of this question that the treasure is going to be buried around um, these points over here, the part that's been shaded blue. Okay, thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.